me see who this is from. No, I don't have his name on it. That doesn't make any difference. Um, he did uh, uh, say that this... Um, oh, what he did say was, I was sad to hear your friend Alan Stang passed away. I listened to him and uh, will miss him. Uh, he was on another uh, Republic, I think, network. Another one of um, who still left is useless Mullins, as well. That was his. That was his comments uh, in regard to um, in regard to the um, uh, old people who were left. There's G. Edward Griffith, myself, and Anthony Helder, and that's it. All the old uh, writers and uh, and um, aggressive uh, conservatives are all dead, I guess, except us. Sure, there's lots of them out there, but they don't do what we do and get on the front line. We lost Gary Allen years ago and Larry Abraham and um, and many others. Allen was a great guy. And he really suffered. He fought the IRS in federal district court and lost, and they gave him, I think it was two and a half years, and they had him in a maximum security lockup. And uh, they tried, I, he told me that uh, when he was in there that they tried and tried and tried to get him to break the rules so they could beat him half to death and all that sort of thing. But I did a lot of radio at Allen in L.A. He was on this station in Glendale. And uh, I'd probably do three or four months with him. And uh, gosh, that was 30 years ago. But anyway, um, I understand he had a fast uh, spreading prostate cancer. And whenever I hear fast spreading, I think about the government programs to kill people. But you know, I don't have any proof. All I knew is I stay out of harm's way. So those are my questions for the day. What do you have, young lady? Oh, well, I have a few, and one of them was also in relationship to, um, you know, the chemtrails out there. Um, but I got them kind of in order here. Um, you did touch on this briefly in the beginning about paying down debt. She has. Um, uh, she's considering about uh, getting together with a debt settlement company. What is your opinion of those type type companies? Well, you know, I, I just don't know. I've never been in any kind of situation like that, and I don't really know anyone who has. And lots of people do, and I, I, I just, I can't answer it. One of them just filed bankruptcy. Well, you know. I think you can get some an idea, perhaps, at the Better Business Bureau. Uh, ask for references, professional references, as well as individuals who you can contact who have used their services. I mean, there's so many bad people out there. I mean, or people who just want to take your money and leave you stranded. I mean, you know... We get this saga of Pat Kiley going on. I mean, you know, I spotted the Ponzi scheme over a year ago and instructed everybody I could by phone. I called them all who tell me, who tell me they had accounts with them. And over 100 people extricated themselves. But about 25 of them didn't. And I don't know where it's all going to end, but... There are lots of kind of things like that out there, and you got to be very, very careful. And that's, you know, the kind of guidance that we try to give people to help them. And boy, that was a humdinger. Uh, we hit a home run on that one. I, I just, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking to get the letters we get from people who are still buried with him, and goodness knows what they're going to get out of it. I tried to advise my customers a long time ago not to get involved in that because no one can guarantee double-digit returns. And, I mean, right there... Strains of Madoff. Yeah, I mean, 
and uh, um, it's my guess what happened to them is they couldn't perform and then they committed fraud here we go we're heading to break and thank you for joining us this afternoon you are listening to financial survival sponsored by discount gold and silver trading i'm melody cedarstrom and thank you for listening today. If you would like a complimentary issue to the International Forecaster, give us a call at 800-375-4188. Good to be back in, a, in routine. I like my routine. Bob, would you like to tell us about the International Forecaster, please? The forecast is about business, finance, economic, social, and political issues all over the world. We publish by Internet on Wednesdays and Saturdays. runs around 35 or 40 pages. And we have a issue that goes out twice a month uh, via the U.S. mail for those who are not on the Internet. Uh, if you'd like to look at our site, that address is theinternationalforecaster.com, theinternationalforecaster.com. Or you can go to our site if you want to send us a message, our email address, excuse me, uh, that is Bob, B-O-B, at I-N-T-F-O-R-E-C-A-S-T-E-R, Bob at Inforecaster.com. 800-375-4188 for your complimentary issues. And, folks, the special, I have only five packages. And uh, for this program, there will be three and I'll keep two for the later programs. This program is replayed throughout the day. And the people who listen at night never get a chance to get any of the specials because they're always sold out. So I'll offer three at this program. And if no one buys this evening, um, then there will be the uh, balance. Uh, you can put your name in for the balance of the two. So there's three packages, six coins. Uh, you'll receive free shipping, uh, of course, Bob's newsletter. And we have three $10 Liberties. And you have a mint state 60, a 61, and a 62. And then you also have three St. Gaudens. And they will be mint state 61, mint state 62, and mint state 63. So you have a total of six coins, $10 liberties, in mint state grades 60, 61, and 62. And then you will have three saints. Three different grades, Men's State 61, 62, and 63, total of six coins, the newsletter, free shipping for a total of $7,200. So $7,200 for your free subscription to the International Forecaster, and of course six coins, and they're great coins, beautiful coins, and uh, it's a great buy. So give us a call at 800-375-4188. Well, that was one of the most intelligent offers I've ever heard. You think so? Well, what do you call my other ones then, Bob? <laughs> well, they're all good, but, you know, this special offer of this publication called the International Forecaster. Oh, 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 oh. Well, all the specials have your newsletter in there. Well, you know, today things are just about spot on. I mean... Half the better quality gold and silver stocks are up and half are down, but they were only fractions. You know, um, up 28, up 38, down 1, and down 30. So virtually no change. Uh, and the spot silver market was up 11 at 13.98, and the spot gold was up 10 cents at 953.50. Later on, uh, after I get off the program, I'll have the outside market, uh, which is August in gold mm -hmm. and September in silver. Um, let's go ahead and go with these questions, Bob. This, this one seems a little complicated, but he received a statement in his brokerage, a pamphlet in his brokerage statement, and it's in reference to um, it's a miscellaneous paragraph 5, um, but it talks about the balance in any of his accounts. I, you know what, I'm just going to email this one to you because uh, uh, he, he, he prints out the whole paragraph of the uh, um, from his uh, pamphlet that he received. And uh, so I'm just going to email that one right over to you. 
Um, okay, I'll do the best I can. According to Market Watch report, Federal Reserve uh, Chairman Bernanke on Friday said that he expects that roughly 25 financial firms would be considered systematically significant as part of legislation giving the central bank authority to oversee large interconnected financial firms whose collapse could cause collateral damage to the market. Are these mega firms next in 